The insane geography of the Ice Age. You could walk from Paris to London 20,000 years ago. The English Channel didn't exist. Britain was just another European peninsula. The world looked completely different during the last Ice Age. Sea levels were 400 feet lower than today. Massive ice sheets covered entire continents. Let's explore this alien version of Earth. Imagine standing at the edge of an ice sheet 10,000 feet thick. That's what you'd see in Canada. The ice stretched from the Arctic all the way down to Manhattan. It covered almost all of Northern Europe, too. But the ice wasn't the only strange thing. The lower sea levels created new continents. Southeast Asia was one giant landmass called Sundaland. Some think it might be the lost continent of Atlantis. Japan wasn't an island chain. It was connected to Asia by land. The Yellow Sea was a dry plain. The Sea of Japan was just a lake. The British Isles tell a fascinating story. England, Scotland, and Wales formed one landmass with Europe. Ireland connected to Britain. People could stroll from Paris to Edinburgh. But this changed dramatically. A massive flood cut Britain off from France. It happened in just days. The flood carried 35 million cubic feet of water every second. This new waterway changed everything. It blocked ancient human migration routes. It separated populations. Britain became an island. The weather was harsh. Temperatures averaged 11 degrees Fahrenheit lower than today. The climate was cold and dry, but some places got more rain than they do now. North America looked particularly strange. The Mojave Desert had lakes. Utah's Great Salt Lake is a leftover from this time. Canada vanished under the ice. Giant animals roamed this frozen world. Woolly mammoths thundered across the plains. Massive beavers built their dams. Saber-toothed tigers hunted in the cold. Some Ice Age creatures survived. We still have musk oxen. Bactrian camels made it. White rhinos too, though they're endangered now. The Sahara Desert existed back then, but Europe was mostly grassland and tundra. Forests only grew in southern refuges. The northern trees couldn't survive the cold. Humans proved remarkably tough. Unlike many species, they didn't retreat south. They adapted to the harsh conditions. They used fire, built shelters, and made warm clothes. This frozen world began melting 20,000 years ago. The Great Thaw lasted 10,000 years. Global temperatures rose by 6.3 degrees Fahrenheit. The seas rose and swallowed the land bridges. Our ancestors had to abandon many coastal settlements. The rising waters created the world we know. Today's warming climate might delay the next ice age. Scientists think it could push it back 50,000 to 100,000 years, but that's another story.